Hello everyone, this is Colin from Fiber Optics for Sale. In this video, I will explain what is four wave mixing in WDM fiber systems. Simply put, four wave mixing is a nonlinear effect in WDM systems. The interactions between three wavelengths produce a fourth wavelength. This phenomenon is called four wave mixing. Four wave mixing is a third order nonlinear effect. It is caused by the dependence of refractive index on the intensity of the optical power. Four wave mixing is most serious in closely spaced WDM systems. The left figure shows the nonlinear dielectric polarization equation. In this equation, we can see that the nonlinear effect generates new frequencies at omega i plus minus omega j plus minus omega k. Notice that omega i, omega j, omega k are not necessarily distinct. Among all the four wave mixing signals, the most troublesome one is the signal corresponding to omega i plus omega j minus omega k. This is because that depending on individual frequencies, omega i plus omega j minus omega k may lie on or very close to one of the actual channel, causing significant crosstalk to that channel, as shown by omega 223, omega 132, omega 312, and omega 221. Since the generated four wave mixing power increases with link length, this sets a limit on the transmit power per channel as a function of the link length. This limit is plotted in the left figure for both standard single mode fiber and dispersion shifted fiber for three cases. The first case is eight channels spaced 100 gigahertz apart. The second case is 32 channels spaced 100 gigahertz apart. The third case is 32 channels spaced 50 gigahertz apart. There are several solutions to the problem of four-wave mixing, such as unequal channel spacing, increase channel spacing, reduce transmit power, non-zero dispersion shifted fiber, and more. The right figure shows the eye diagram comparison between an equal channel spacing WDM and an unequal channel spacing WDM. We can see that the unequal channel spacing has a much clearer eye. So there you have it. Please leave your comment below if you'd like to see other topics. Don't forget to visit foforsale.com for more free fiber optic tutorials. I will see you in the next video.